Good morning. Buenos días, mi amor. <laughs> hey, baby girl. Hi. Hmm? Oh, so what? I can't miss my girlfriend and decide to surprise call her in the mornings? Of course. I know you're busy at work, so I thought maybe if I sneak a call in, if you answer, I'd get to remind you just how much I love you. <laughs> so how's your day been so far, my love? Okay. <sighs> Mi amor. Te amo. I love you. I love you. Te amo. 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 I had a dream about us today. Yeah. <laughs> You were moving into my apartment for the first time. And I was helping you bring all of your boxes inside. And when I was bringing in one of the boxes, you were in the kitchen. And you were looking at a shelf. And you were taking things out and moving things around. And when I looked at you, you had... A box of just mugs. <laughs> it was just mugs. And I came up to you and I hugged you from behind. And I kissed your shoulder. I kissed your cheek. I kissed your lips. I slowly turned you around to me. I held the small of your back and I pulled you up to my face and I kissed your lips again. And I asked, baby, what are you doing? And you blushed at me, you looked away and you said, you're trying to sort out your mug collection. <laughs> and I looked down at you and I was like, mug collection? And you nudged softly and you just gently pointed to the box. So, we walked over to it and we took out every single mug and you had like 30 mugs. All of different designs, Hello Kitty, Table Tubbies, uh, these flowers, a rainbow. You had this Scooby-Doo one, you had the SpongeBob set, you had these fish ones. It was really pretty. And you started to apologize that you have a bunch of them, but I don't have space and you can get rid of them. But then I told you that it's okay. My apartment is full of my stuff. The goal isn't to get rid of your stuff, you know? So I told you we put some of my stuff that we won't be using into one of the boxes. We can pack out your mugs and we can store away some of my stuff in the boxes in the spare room that we have. <laughs> yeah you got so excited and then you spent like an hour telling me about each mug and telling me how you got each mug and explaining to what the significance of each mug is and then i picked you up in my arms and i lifted you up to the shelves for you to put them and then i sat you down on the counter there's happiness on your face the joy in your eyes the way that you giggled and swung your feet the way that you held on to me and kissed me repeatedly i i woke up and i just needed to hear your voice <laughs> i realized that i'm in love with you and i know i say this every day but i just wanted to remind you that i am in love with you I wanted to tell you that you're doing a good job. 
I wanted to remind you that you're doing your best. I wanted to take the time to let you know that you make me happy and that I want to make you happy too. And putting in the effort to make you happy is what I intend to do. A simple call like this in the day is not going to change much, but it's going to put a smile on your face for the rest of the day. And that, that means everything to me. You mean everything to me. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that I know that you're working hard. Probably harder than most people. I know that you're doing your best. Honestly, you're doing more than I can ask for. You make me the happiest man on the earth. And I wish to repay that to you. I wish to redo that for you. I wish to take the time out of my days to learn how to be better for you. I just hope that I can become the man that you want me to become in time. I wish I can become healthy enough for us. For me, I want to be the best version of myself that I can be. And you draw that out of me. You show me that I can be better. I can do better. I can want better. All the little things you do. All the small noticing things that you do. I'm glad to have you in my life. I'm glad to be a part of us. If there can be more to us, I would appreciate that. So I have a surprise for you today. I'm going to tell you what it is so you can look forward to it. I don't want you to feel anxious about it. When you walk through the door today, when you get home, you're going to smell roses. You're going to walk through. You're going to see candlelight. You're going to come into the living room. And you're going to see a five course meal on the table. When you finally grasp what's going on, you're going to see me. I'm going to walk up to you. I'm going to hold you. And I'm going to say, welcome home, my love. I'm going to kiss you. I'm going to sweep you off of your feet. I'm going to carry you over to a chair. I'm going to sit you down, talk you in, pour a nice glass of champagne. I'm going to take off your shoes. I'm going to loosen your hair. I'm going to ask you about your day. I'm going to listen to every last detail. I'm going to dish out a plate of food. I'm going to feed you. And I'm going to show you exactly the type of treatment you deserve. So you have that to look forward to today. I want to make sure you know that you did good. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. I want you to know that you make me the happiest man ever. So never forget that, okay? I know sometimes it can be hard. Work can get stressful. Everything can pile up. People can get loud. It can get intense. It can. But I believe in you. I've always believed in you and I will continue to believe in you. Te amo, mi amor. Te amo. I love you. I love you so much. I'm assuming that that constant beeping in the background is 
your monitor telling you that you need to be going in, huh? It's the busy life. <laughs> no, I'm glad that we even got 10 minutes to make this call. Go. Go be you. Go be amazing. Go change this world and make it a better place. I'll be here. With you, for you, waiting on you. Forever, always. Good morning, my gorgeous little starlights. Hi, everyone. <sighs> um... I'm working on myself as a person. And one of those things that I'm working on is being consistent. Being a man of my word. Being a man who listens to what I say, listens to what other people say, and act accordingly. For a very long time, I've been back and forth. I've been saying I'll be consistent, and then I'd vanish for a week. I'll say that I'll return to putting these little me talking at the end of my videos, and then I won't. I'll say that I'll stream every day, or I'll stream according to my schedule, and then I don't. I don't want to be like that anymore. I don't want to be inconsistent anymore. I don't want to be someone who can't make decisions and stand by them anymore. I don't want to be someone who gives his word and then takes it back the moment it becomes inconvenient. I want to change who I am. I want to become a better person. I want to do better. I want to grow. I want to be the person that people see me as. I don't want that to be a face I put on for public. Truth is, I'm not perfect. Truth is, I won't make a good anything right now. But I'm working on that. I am. Um, for those who didn't join my stream yesterday, I'll be streaming again today. But I just wanted to let you guys know I got a toaster oven. I, um, I want to get into baking. I want to improve myself. I want to improve the skills that I have as a person. I want to bring more to the table than just being me. I want to be a me that can cook fancy meals. I want to be a me that can bake cookies for us on a weekend. I want to be a version of me that is willing to go out and get flowers. And not be crippled by anxiety and scared to go out into public. I want to be a version of me that's okay with saying no to people when I'm uncomfortable. To saying no to people when it's not something I want. When saying no to people and meaning no. And not feeling bad for turning them down. I want to be a version of me that can truly value the important things I have in my life and not just try to please everyone in my life. I'm not perfect. None of us are. But there's gonna come a time where you're gonna have to change. Where you're gonna have to do better. And if you can't do that, you might lose, you might lose so much, you might lose the most important thing to you, 
and it's going to change your life. Whether it changes your life for better or for worse, that's on you. And I know that some of my audience are young people. I prefer you all learn from my lessons, learn from my words, learn from my mistakes, than make the same mistakes yourself. But I know that some lessons, you can't just learn from hearing someone talk about it. You have to go through it. But I do hope my little messages can help people. Okay, um, I want to thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here. Remind you guys to take care of yourselves today. Remember to eat. Remember to drink. Keep hydrated. You want to eat two to three times a day in large healthy amounts or six times a day in small healthy amounts. Remember, these are not defined in numbers. These are just guidelines you can take with a grain of salt. Remember to keep hydrated. Water is great. Juice is good. So it's debatable. But I drink a lot of soda, so you know I'm putting that on the list. Tea is good as well, but remember, some teas contain caffeine, and caffeine is dehydrating. So if you're drinking a lot of coffee, remember to get some water in between there, okay? Alright. Alright. Rock, paper, scissors time. Okay. If you've made it this far and you like the content, please leave a like and a comment down below. As for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I'll go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot upon shoot. I'll announce what I went. If I've won, you're not obligated to subscribe. If I've lost, you're not obligated to go down in the comment section and let me know. If it's a draw, you're not obligated to meet me here tomorrow to play again. If I've been you two times in a row, you're not to put in a notification button. If I've been you three times in a row, you know, belong to me, mind, the body, and soul. Let's go. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Today I went paper. That means if you went rock, you just lost. But if you went scissors, you just won. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for joining. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, bye bye.